we want to find the force of friction that the ground exerts on the bottom of the ladder. So first we're going to draw our free body diagram and I have my X and Y axis here. I have the wall and the ladder is in orange and it's 4.7 meters above the ground. I have my painter here in red, it's 3.0 meters above the ground and we know the length of the ladder is 5 meters. We don't know angle theta, so we're going to have to come down here and try to find angle theta. The problem gives us the opposite side and the hypotenuse, but it doesn't give us the adjacent side. So we have to use the formula for sine, which is opposite over hypotenuse. So we're going to use in our calculators the inverse sine of 4.7 over 5.0 meters, and it gives us an angle of 70 degrees. So now we're just going to go ahead and draw in all of our forces. We have the normal force pushing up on the ladder from the ground, and that's our first normal force. We have the frictional force pushing against the ladder in that direction. We have the weight of the ladder pulling down in the negative direction because gravity is negative. And we also have the weight of the painter pulling down in the negative direction because gravity is negative. And we have this second normal force pushing against the ladder this way um, from the wall. So now we're going to have to find a reference point. So I chose this point here. And the distance from this point to this point is going to be zero. So since that's zero, these two points, the first normal force and the frictional force, are going to cancel because um, they came out of this one point here. So now we're left with the weight of the ladder, the weight of the painter, and the second normal force. So we know the mass of this painter, 680 newtons, the mass of the ladder, 120 newtons. So there, um, since this system is in equilibrium, we know the sum of the forces is going to be equal to zero. So we're just going to find the forces in the x direction first and then the y direction. So in the x direction, we have the frictional force minus the second normal force because it's pushing in the negative direction. And we're going to put that all equal to zero. And then we just solve for F or friction, which is equal to um, the second normal force. So it's okay that the friction cancel here because we are still going to be able to find it here. So now we're going to find all the forces in the Y direction. So we have the first normal force pointing up. We have the negative mass of the ladder and the negative weight of the painter all equal to zero and we just solve for the first normal force. We don't actually need this equation so we can just disregard it for now. So now we're going to come over here and find the sum of the torque and since the sum of the forces was equal to zero, the sum of the torque is also going to be equal to zero. So the um, formula for torque is the force times the distance from your force to your reference point all equal to zero. So we're going to take um, whatever force you want to choose first, and I just picked the um, weight of the ladder. And since this force has to come down and up, and that's in the clockwise direction, it's going to be a negative force, so I'll put a negative mg. And now we're going to try to find the distance from this point here to this point here. But first we have to find the perpendicular direction of this force. So if this force is going down this way, the perpendicular direction would be this way. So we want to find the distance from here all the way over to here because this is where our reference point would come up. So the distance from here to here is going to be the same as the distance from here to here. So we know this distance from the center of this ladder's mass down to here is going to be 2.5 because it's in the middle of the ladder and half of 5 is 2.5. So this distance here, or the hypotenuse, is 2.5. And we don't know this adjacent side here, but we do know that um, we do know sine of theta because we found that earlier. So we can just do the force times the distance, r times the cosine of 70, because we um, want to find this adjacent side here. So now we can move on to our next force, which is the weight of the painter. It's also having to go in a clockwise direction to get to this point, so it's also going to be negative. So we have a minus the weight of the painter. And it tells us that it's 3 meters above the ground. So we know this side 
and we know that he's three meters from this distance here, but we don't know this here because this force is going down in this direction. So we have to find the perpendicular direction, which just like the weight of the ladder is going this way. So from here to here is the same as from here to here back to our reference point. So if the problem gives us the opposite side and then we know our angle theta, we can solve for this adjacent side. So we're gonna do the cosine of 70 times our distance, three meters. And now our normal force is gonna travel this way counterclockwise towards our reference point. So it's gonna be a positive force times the distance that it gives us, 4.7, because this force is going in this direction. So perpendicular to that would be down. So we wanna find this distance here from this point to this point, so right here. And it already gave us that 4.7, so we can just plug it in as it is. We don't need to use cosine or sine. We're just gonna solve for all of our numbers, and we solve for the second normal force, and we get 170 newtons, and we know that friction is gonna to have to be the opposite of whatever the normal force was. So friction is gonna be a negative 170 newtons.